Okay, so now we have looked at the selling opportunities in the market by the formation of the M's. Now we are looking for buying opportunities at the end of a bearish market going up. So uh, as you can see, the market is going down, sellers are in control. And then after this W formation, we are going up. So we're looking for buying opportunities. Again, we have our support right there at the bottom. And then we have our resistance line over there. So remember now it's the op opposite. Uh, uh, before with the M formation, we had our resistance and then we had our support, right? Uh, it was supporting the market uh, when it comes back to retest, right? Uh, and then breaks through here, it here, making it our resistance. But here is just the opposite of what of what we had with the with the selling opportunity. So now we are buying the market. We are going up with it. We we are bullish on this. So the W formation is the bullish reversal, and we have three different patterns right there. So price will be in a in a downtrend, and then negotiations between sellers and buyers happen uh, when this is happening over there when the uh, in between parties actually being created and then the w pattern is not complete until the price breaks out of the w uh, or the resistance right so until it breaks out of the resistance is not complete so these are the different phases of the w pattern so firstly we have the downtrend the longer the downtrend the more powerful the w formation is and the higher the potential of making profits out of it right so and then the first leg of the w forms when the price find uh, finds support so what we mean is that uh, remember when price bounces off a line is we call it support because it's supporting the market uh, from breaking through to the downside right so this is our support and then it's resisted right so it's, it bounces uh, bounce off the, the support and then it comes here and it gets resisted uh when it's so it's in a downtrend right so th this is a lower low and then it, it makes a lower high comes back to make a lower low again as you can see right here it's an, another lower low and then after that uh this is our second leg this, this is when it's forming our second leg so the second leg forms where the price drops from a resistance so from our resistance remember when the market gets resisted and from going upwards we call that line our resistance right so that's why we say horizontal and support resistance are very key uh in this strategy as well you have to uh, put it all together so as you can see, uh, when when it gets hit, when it gets resisted, right, they comes back to create a lower low, and after that, we have our second leg, right. So that's that's our second leg. Remember, at the beginning of the course, I also said you can have a support and resistance uh, as a line, as a like a specific point, but it's also a zone. You you need to keep in mind that it's also a zone. So this will be our support and resistance zone. In this case of buying, this will be our support zone. So we are looking for different areas where the market is going to hit, right. So uh, once you have that zone, you will be able you'll be able to anticipate where the market can potentially hit next before being supported back up again so that it can come and break through this uh, resistance over there so that is where the buying opportunities are that is our first formation how it looks like uh, the second one it is uh, both legs at the same level and then the third one it basically has uh, our lower low as our first leg and then we have a lower high we have a, a higher low here so begin uh, signaling a, a beginning of an uptrend because remember after a lower high in a downtrend once we have a lower high and then after that lower high we don't have a, another lower low that means now that bearish downtrend is no longer valid it's now invalid and we're looking for a turnaround or at least a beginning of a ranging market so that's exactly what happened here as you can see so it's sort of a double confirmation again just like the third um information as we said in the previous when we are looking for selling opportunities in the inverse of this so basically once it's created that uh, now we are looking for uh, an, a new trend right to be made right and as you can see the next point after the market is well above the lower high that has been pre uh, that had been created before confirming that our trend is now buying and the buyers are now in control so giving us the best opportunity for us to buy so remember this is also our support once it's broke this is also our resistance in this game and once it gets broken through that is a, conf a full confirmation of our w formation so the w is not complete until the price breaks out and closes above the resistance so it's the same game uh once our candlesticks actually closes uh, above this then we have confirmed uh our w formation right and the market should carry on going up right these are the three types of w formations that you need to keep in mind uh, so that you can capture all the moments so let's take a, a look at our examples of this in real market conditions okay so here right here as you saw our three types of w formations here you can easily spot that we have our first type of uh, w formation right here as you can see and we we're able to capture the trade after this pin bar that it, uh, that was formed right there as you can see we had a doji uh candlestick patterns that showed us that now we can uh and we can anticipate a turnaround at that moment and remember that we're already anticipating that there is a w formation that is coming through we we are basically just waiting for a signal to say okay cool the second leg is now being formed because we 
already have our first leg over here and then that's basically how you capture those entries quite early but as i said also you can go down to the time frames that are below you that time frame that you are looking at so that you can see what is happening below there because usually on a five on a smaller time frame like this this is a five minute right this is 15 minutes that means on a five minute chart you should be able to find that you already have a w formation that is already formed uh in between here or somewhere like that so that uh, you can actually have that confirmation that the w formation is coming through you're starting from the uh, smaller time frame going up so that's basically what is just happening right so you can be able to focus that by looking at a time frame that are below the time frame that you uh, anticipating that w formation so okay right that is our first uh that is our first example right there and then the second example here as you can see this is actually our second type where we have where our both legs are actually at the same support level as you can see here they were at the same support level there was a minor breakthrough but then it was rejected and it created a pin bar also giving us a signal to actually uh, enter this trade because we have our sec our first leg right we're anticipating our second leg uh, therefore this pin bar right here will give us that uh, indication to say that okay we are expecting a, a reversal at this point and you you already anticipating the second leg of this w makes it a full confirmation right you have a confirmed uh, position that you can actually trade right there as you can see you were able to capture some trades over there and we rode the wave all the way through so uh this is our example of the uh, buying opportunities uh, with the w formations and the different types of w formation so keep this in mind very very powerful part of the strategy and very very key as well here's an illustration of our what we call our perfect m and w formations so here in a buying trend when the bearish market is now out and we we are buying you can see that this second leg is higher than the pre than the first leg making it a good trade so this is this just shows that this our uh, market is now uh, uh is a good trade because remember we said once uh, once we find a w formation like this that means we have double confirmations because we now have um, a higher low here a higher low is a beginning of an uptrend so it's a double confirmation in this making it the perfect uh, w formation and inversely is also the same thing uh here when we uh when the buyers are in control and then that that ends here when they are rejected uh, and resisted over here and then the m formation forms right so the second leg is lower than the first leg and this makes it a good trade uh for us to enter in a sell trade right to sell the market because remember this is this was a higher high this was a higher high but then here we have we have a lower high right we have a lower high which signals a beginning of a downtrend so it's also a double confirmation in that sense uh hence why we say these are the perfect informations that you can uh you can enter the trade without any hesitation when you find these types of m and w formations so where there's good there's also bad so these are not so perfect m and w formations as you can see right here we had our the second leg is actually breaking through uh the our first leg area so meaning that it is actually penetrating or you know violating our our horizontal support line over here and that is not a good w formation still a valid w formation but just not as good as the previous one right so in the inverse as well is the same thing so as you can see this price actually for after our sec first leg is lower than the second leg and our second leg uh violated through our uh, horizontal resistance line right so that's just uh, to show you uh, the different types of formations and these are not the so perfect formations but still valid informations and double formation